Everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. And I had to make sure that I had the towel ready for the tears, man. Uh, let's get into this movie reaction. Baruch Atu Adonam Mekadesh HaShabbat That was a really nice edited transition with the crossfading from the color to the black and white. I wonder if it's gonna mostly be black and white or if it's gonna be fully black and white. September 1939, the German forces defeated the Polish army in two weeks. Jews were ordered to register all family members and relocate to major cities. More than 10,000 Jews from the countryside are okay. I just found out that Steven Spielberg directed this movie. I did not know that. I would love to know when it's the first time you ever seen this movie. Man, it's just so tragic just what happened to the Jewish people. Like, I don't even know, like, in someone's right mind could have them do those things to human beings. Now I will say those sequence of shots right there of the character getting dressed, it was filmed very nice. That's one of the things I love about doing what I'm doing now where I can watch filmmakers pretty much like Steven Spielberg that I haven't seen. And I can see him at the age that I am now with certain like knowledge that I have about filmmaking that I can admire and analyze the certain decisions that you know filmmakers make or actors make themselves, which inspires me. Neeson looking like he trying to model, okay. Never seen Liam Neeson that young. Look like he aged a lot since Phantom Menace in this movie. It's only been six years. Hey, that was a beautiful shot right there. I liked how the lighting was on his eye line. Yes, sir. Bring them over a round of drinks. This will actually be the first dramatic role that I've seen Liam Meeson in. So I'm definitely gonna be analyzing his performance here. Cause I know that there was something Steven Spielberg and the casting directors saw in Liam Neeson to cast him as the lead in this movie. Hey, but it had to be something though. If you think about it, Steven Spielberg casted Liam Neeson as the lead for this movie. And then George Lucas casted Liam Neeson as the lead for his movie in Star Wars, and everybody know how close they are. But I also want to acknowledge just that little physical work that Liam Neeson was doing with the money and talking to the waiter. Like, <laughs> that shit was smooth. Just the way it was shot and everything. And y'all know me, I love talking about, you know, the subtleties and the physical work when it comes to acting and stuff like that. And Find out who he is. Yes, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? You'd leave a woman alone at the table in a place like this? This man, Liam Neeson, is a very powerful man, it seems. Wow, this man, like, pretty much bought up the whole restaurant. Got everybody gathered around him. This man, pretty smooth. Who is that man? That's Oscar Schindler. Wow, that is real fucked up. And that's just crazy how they find that funny too. Like, you really find that funny? What if I just took this thing off? What are they gonna do about it? They will shoot you. Why hey. don't you stop it's it's Oh, good. they got him in this Messages. movie too? Wow, okay. Army contracts. He's a good actor. Jews can no longer own businesses. That's why this one's in his Ah, uh, But they wouldn't own it. I'd own it. I'd pay them back in product, pots and pans. 
Damn, so this man right here is trying to make money off of this war. That's fucked up. You ask for shoe polish. In metal containers. Metal this containers. is glass. It's not what I asked for. My client sold it to the German army. Only by the time it got there, because of the freezing cold, it broke. All 10,000 units. Wow, that's a whole bunch of fucking money gone. Hello. <laughs> Pardon me for interfering, but that's a nice shirt. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? Shit, them boys said, oh fuck, we know who that is. Let's go. Deadline for entering the ghetto. That's real fucked up. So they pushing all of them out and making them go to the ghetto? See, and that shit starts from the home right there, man. That little girl was taught that shit. Nobody's born with that. That's just ridiculous. It's just amazing to me how people can just teach kids to just hate people. Damn, you just took their house? It could not be better. It could be Oh, y'all gotta share that shit. And there's only one mattress in there. I'm already starting to get tensed up. because It's just like, I'm really feeling bad for these people. They're getting kicked out of their homes. They're losing their jobs and their businesses. And gotta go to the ghetto and share these broken down buildings. They will repay you with 200, 200 kilos of enamelware a month to begin in July and to continue for one year. After which time we're even. That's it. It's very simple. Not good enough. A couple of months ago, you'll be right. Not anymore. Money is still money. No, it is not. That's why we're here. Man, this dude is really worked up on this business right here. They keep trying to offer him this drink, too. This boy, like, man, if you don't get that out my damn face, I told you no the first time. It's essential. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. I teach history and literature. It's when it's not essential. It was not right. It's too new. Damn, man. That's like real messed up that people could just take away someone's rights like that. Like they're not a human being or equal to them. So I'm guessing right here that they're just making papers for them right here. I'm a metal polisher. I play the flute. But Moses is a skilled metal worker. He can make tin pots, he can make tanks, he can make whatever musician asks. He's highly skilled. This is a good man right here. So basically, he's just giving any Jewish person a job at this new business that Schindler has. How oh, is your typing? Oh, come on, girl. You gotta speed up. They're all so qualified. Big smile. Big smile. This man chose all of them. <laughs> Damn, man. You're supposed to be choosing a secretary, not some girl you're trying to smash. This man right here is a smooth player. My father was fond of saying you need three things in life. A good doctor, a forgiving priest, and a clever accountant. Just pretend, for Christ's sake. Is that all? I'm trying to thank you. I'm actually surprised that they were able to get this like partnership to work, even though he doesn't want nothing to do with him. I want to thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to work. You're welcome. I'm sure you're doing a great job. VSS beat me up. They would have killed me. Oh, uh, he only has one arm. Don't ever do that to me again. Go. Do you happen what? to notice that that man had one arm? What's his use? Very useful. How? Very useful. Success. So I'm thinking, is he like thinking about his business or is he that type of person where he doesn't want to see 
like the hardships of what's going on. He just wants to stay in his lane and focus on his shit. He don't want to see what everybody else is going through. You need to understand that some of the officers here don't give a damn about production. To them, it's a matter of um, national priority that Jews be made to shovel snow. Man, that is real messed up. Like, the snow was already out of the way. A century walker. A century walker. Look at the snow. Look at the snow. Hey, man, what the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't think they was gonna do something like that. I thought they was just gonna like lock him up or something. I didn't think they was gonna straight up and execute this man. To believe the Jewish skate worker had a place in Reich economics was a treasonable idea. Man, that is so fucked up, man. That old man didn't deserve that shit at all. It's crazy how they just pointed him out and just saw him like right there out of all those people. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. If it leaves with him on it, it'll disrupt production and the armaments board will want to know why. Is he on the list? Yes, sir. There's nothing I can do. I think I can guarantee you, you'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. Good day. Whoa, what is that supposed to mean? Are they sending him to a certain jail or something? Touchdown! Oh, now they want to help look for him. Up the train! He's here! Man, Makes what does this man do? He got all this power. No or maybe his father is the one who has the power. Wow, they just stealing they shit or they about to burn all of it. Oh, and they pictures. Hey, and this piece of music they got playing in the background is definitely having me feel something. I will say that this is the right song to Fit the mood. Oh my God, their teeth. And that's even more messed up, man. They got freaking Jewish people actually doing some of this work here. And then he just looked at his teeth. Like how else are you gonna get their teeth? Wow. I know he felt real unsettled and scared at that moment. I'll be real disgusted myself too. Like. Man, this is fucked up, man. This street divides the ghetto just about in half. Right side, ghetto A. Left side, ghetto B. Which is where you will want to start, huh? Oh, they have him in this movie, too? Do you have too? any questions, sir? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's top down. I'm fucking freezing. I really want to know what inspired Steven Spielberg to make this movie. Because I think Schindler's List is based off of a book, right, or something? Or it's a true story or something like that? But There is a, an opening for a job. Uh, what's her name? Helen Hughes. What? <coughs> Helen Hughes. What? I can't hear. Helen Hughes. Okay, I'm really liking his performance right here. The entire foundation has to be torn down and re -poured. You are an engineer. Yes. Shoot her. Shoot her? I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm doing mine. We're not going to have arguments with these people. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Bro, I'm like really fucking surprised that they showing this shit. Take it down, report it, rebuild it, like she said. So he killed her because she kind of seemed like she was starting an argument? Get the fuck out of here. 600 years ago, Kazimierz the Great told the Jews they could come to Krakow. They came here with nothing, and they flourished. By this evening, those six centuries are a rumor. They never happened. So you're just gonna get rid of history? I'm like pretty much lost for words. That was a nice shot I liked. How it was overlooking the city with the angle right there on them and the horses. Oh my God! What the fuck was that for? What, he didn't have his papers or something? Oh my 
God. And then if them suitcases hit somebody in the head. I won't go in the sewers. Dang, so he just leaving her behind. He was like, fuck that then. Who's out of there? Fuck down, send it! Get shit out! 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 Hey man, if he would have shot that little kid, I would have lost it. Oh, they feeding them poison. I mean, is, is, is that them doing that on, like, for their own good? Or is, like, they know that this is about to happen and they just, they, they want it to happen? They said, fuck it, we don't care. As good as that. Leaper, who lets you drink your inside? Oh my god! You can't join her? Oh my god, did he say can I join her? Man, that's probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like that. This dude really killed his wife like right there in his fucking arms. Like, like who, who does that, man? Damn, they knew they asses going in the sewer. Oh my goodness. Bro, look at all these fucking bodies. Oh my goodness, this shit is chaos. Like, who is giving these orders? There's not enough room for you. What are you talking about? We tried it before, there's more than enough room. I changed my mind. I can fit the girl. Not you. Stay where you are. I'd rather you be here than who knows where. Why the fuck she do that? Like, what the fuck was that for? That was like some petty ass shit. Help, Commandant. Very good salute. I respectfully report I've been given orders to clear the bundles from the road. Wow, they get this little kid right here like Jojo Rabbit. Mrs. Dresner? Oh, you are a friend of my son's. Hide under the stairs. I've searched the building. There's no one here. Oh my God, this hard-headed little girl. Wow, he's been sitting there that whole time. Oh, he's been watching it from that view. Whoa, what is the symbolism for what would... This little girl's dress standing out between everybody. I thought that, that was only just in the poster, so they did this in the movie too? She's just walking around without her parents or anything. Oh my God! Man, they playing around like this is a fucking game trying to see who can shoot the most in a line? Is that little girl even real? Oh, now she's black and white. And this is so fucking tragic. Dang, they thought of all the hiding spots. Wow. Oh, that's so freaking messed up, man. Just his body fell on the freaking piano, and then they, so they transitioned to this man playing the piano. 
that's fucking overkill. Wow. They like just literally cleaned house. Oh my God. Man, what's up with this man? This dude is really playing around with this shit. He is really playing this role well because I have not hated this man more than I've hated this man in this movie. Man, this dude was probably raised like a douche or something, man. That's what that's the feeling I'm getting from the way he's playing this role. Especially with that douchey ass haircut he yet. And people just, they just gotta act like nothing happened. This is the most tragic scene I have seen in this movie right here. Just the fact that this man is really playing like this shit's a game. Like, this dude over here stretching and shit. Hey, as always, when it comes to movies like this that deals with history or tragic events or military stuff or whatever, I just want to apologize if there's anything that I say that offends anybody or if there's a lack of knowledge that I have. You know, I don't know a lot about this stuff, okay? And I don't mean to offend anybody. I have to know, why do you get a suit like that? What is that? Is that silk? Of course. There's a nice sheen about it. Thank you. I'd say I'd get you one, but the man who made it is probably dead. I don't know. Hey, I like that little shot that he threw at him right there, man. Do you have any idea what's involved? The paperwork alone, and I forget to go to build a fucking thing, getting the fucking permits. It's enough to drive you crazy. When the engineers show up, they stand around, they argue about drainage, foundations, codes, exact specifications, parallel fences, four kilometers long, 1,200 kilograms of barbed wire, 6,000 kilograms. I like this shot right here, how I slowly zooming into them. So he's been doing really well, like, especially that whole monologue that he just put forward. That was very impressive in the pace that he did it in. I couldn't get you out of here. I'll be all right. Put these in your pocket. Come on. Herr Director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much his business, really. Thanks for it. Good luck. Okay, all right, now I'm starting to see a little bit of a relationship coming together there. Make me a hinge. You've been working since six this morning. Yet, such a small pile of hinges. For real? Oh my God, that's fucked up. I mean, it's... I'm, I'm trying to get the words out, man. This shit right here got me shook. Oh my gosh, man. This scene right here is intense. Even though I hate his character, his performance in this movie has been very good. So far, I would say that was the best scene. This man really tried to kill this man because he I guess was taking his time being lazy a little bit, but then wanted to speed up when he had then micromanage him. Nobody knows who stole the chicken. Hmm? This, oh my God. Bro, the blood is Still just fucking gushing knows. out. I mean, it was. <sighs> they say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. Who says that? So that's why everybody keeps thinking him. Everyone. Because they know as long as they're working for him, they're not going to die. Oh my goodness, man. My name is Regina Palma, not Elsa Corden. I know that added so much pressure on him. His place is a haven, didn't you know? It's not a factory. You think I don't know what you're doing? Money. No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. That's not the point. Is it's dangerous. Yeah, you better have this whole thing shut down and all of them killed. Gert lined up everybody from the missing command's barracks. He shot the man to the left of Bielski, the man to the right of him. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. Have Goldberg bring them over. Right 
So this is what's about to start going down in this movie. He's just about to start bringing people over to work, but just to keep them alive. This is the first movie I've seen ever since I've started doing this where I'm like really at a loss for words. Like I, I, I can't piece them together. I'm My first day here, he beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. I don't know how I say this. I never could say it now. I said to him, why are you beating me? He said, the reason I beat you now is because you ask why I beat you. Man, something, man. I hope this dude gets some type of karma or something in this movie. One day, he will shoot me. No, 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 no. no. He won't shoot you. I know. I see things. I love how Steven Spielberg in this movie has done these slow zoom in shots when someone is doing a monologue. I think this is like the second or third one that he's done. The more you see of the Herr Commandante, the more you see there is no set rules that you can live by. You can't say to yourself, if I follow these rules, I will be safe. Just their performance right here in this scene is very good. You're not a drunk. That's real control. Control is power. See, did he get nominated is for an Oscar? Why they fear us? Because I will say his performance is probably the best out of the whole film. A man commits a crime, he should know better. We haven't killed and we feel pretty good about it. It's not power, though. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. Oh, he's trying to talk his way in to have this man stop just killing people for no fucking reason. A man stole something, he's brought in before the Emperor, begs for mercy. He knows he's going to die, and the Emperor pardons him. That's power, Amon. I mean, the way Liam Neeson has been portraying this character, he is a very intelligent person. You know, he is kind of like a suave playboy, so I know he's definitely trying to like talk his way into his mind to get him to stop doing these horrendous acts. Hopefully it worked. Oh my goodness. So they got like their own way of communicating with each other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is actually pretty nice right there. Show a smoky on the job. I'll tell her not to do it again. Oh wow. Schindler really got into that man's mind. I have to report, sir. I've been unable to remove the stains from your bathtub. Well, I use English, Jack. Soap, Commandant. Soap, not lie. Fleef, I pardon you. I think he's gonna like eventually like burst and just start going back to his old ways and just doing this reckless killing. Because I think probably another thing that's gonna happen is he's gonna start to hear some rumors of people saying that he might have gone soft or some shit like that. Pardon you. Oh, I hope he doesn't get that fucking sniper rifle out. I knew it. I fucking knew it. That boy's scared for his life. Oh, he got him. Oh, my God. I guess what he was doing, he was trying to make sure he kept people on their toes. This is where you come to hide from me. This is a performance right here where Touch I don't even minute. see him. I see the character. Well, I mean, well, maybe you're right about that too. You know, maybe what's what's wrong isn't it's not us. It's, it's you know it's this. Is this the face of a rat? So she's been doing very well in the screen time that she was given. She's been playing that emotion of fear very well. I don't know if she has dealt with a personal experience with an abusive man or something like that, but I like what she has brought to this film. What the fuck, man? Damn, he fucking busted her open. Man, what the fuck type of shit is this? I wish for you a happy birthday. You don't even know how old she is. 
What is that like a tradition or something for him to kiss all the girls there? Head down a big corridor to bunkers with stars of David on the doors and signs that said bath and inhalation room. Oh my god. Them, so they told them to breathe all the time because it's good for disinfecting. And then they gassed them. Just that, that story that she was telling, they just had me think of the boy with the striped pajamas. Because that shit was... That ending to that film was so fucked up. What are they doing with these kids and why are all these kids just running away? Why are they separating them from their kids right here? I understand they said they having some Hungarians come in, but you taking away the kids? Wow, all these kids right here. Like, how, how are they? Expect to survive right here. Just, just hide there the whole damn time. Get out. This is our place. Oh, he looked so scared. Just him shaking. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not snow. Oh, that's so fucked up. It was ashes from people's bodies. Why are you shooting the dead bodies? Oh my god, that was probably one of the most disturbing scenes I've ever seen in a movie. It definitely was one of the most disturbing scenes in this movie. This is like this is like one of those scenes that you, you put in a film to let people know exactly the shit that was going on and just not holding back. And this is like one of those scenes that you want to put in there to push people to be better than what the past was. No, the little girl! Some day, this is all going to end, you know. They finally had a drink together. It's, it's just so fucked up how humanity can just become so evil in the events of war or in the events of survival and shit. It's, it's heartbreaking. You want these people? These people. My people. I want my people. Who are you, Moses? If I'm making a hundred, you've got to be making three. Hmm? And if you admit to making three, then it's four, actually. But how? I just told you. No, you did, but you didn't. <laughs> I like how this scene has been shot right here. The investors. I want all of them. Yes, sir. The children. All the children. How many? 400. 450. More. More. I mean, what is he hoping to do with these people once he tries to buy them? He said he's going to move them to a different country and start a new factory and just have them all live with him or something? Six hundred. More. Wow. Do the same thing I'm doing. I might even make money at it. That is actually really amazing that they like know all these people's names pretty much off of their mind right there. They're not really looking at any like forms or nothing. They're just going right off their the dome. Like that's 
That's amazing. Like 600 people so far. Wow. I still, I'm still wondering, like, what is he trying to do with them? Like, is he trying to, like, buy their freedom or something? You can finish that page. Wow, the motivation for his character throughout this film, like, the objective that he's had has definitely been interesting, just how it's been changing and how you've seen the growth of his character. Maria Michelle. Chaim Novak. Wilkan, Marcus. Michael Lempel. It's Fakster. Saying the music throughout this movie has been very powerful. I've definitely enjoyed listening to it. The performances throughout this movie have been like Oscar worthy. Hilman Edward. Erna Rothberg. Zuckerman Jotti. So he pretty much bought everybody at that camp. I'm actually surprised that they even let him do that. Whoa, what is this, like the wrong destination? Did they just set this man up? Auschwitz. The train was never routed here. Oh, don't tell me this shit's about to end like the boy in the striped pajamas, too. Oh my god, this is so fucked up. Wow, they actually showing this shit. Oh, oh, they actually gave them showers. Oh my God, okay, I thought they was about to go in a gas chamber. Man, that is really good that they didn't die, but like, what the fuck, man? This shit is ridiculous. Why are they taking the little girls? These are my workers. They should be on my train. Their fingers. Polish the insides of shell metal casings. How else am I to polish the inside of a 45 millimeter shell casing? You tell me. Man, this shit is beyond rough. I really thought that that was the ending of the movie. Well, I I, I thought that they was like gonna die in in that uh, I guess containment, whatever it was that they were in. It is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. I am entitled to file damage claims for such deaths. If you shoot, you go to prison, I get paid. I'll call around, find out where we can buy shells, pass them off as others. I don't see the difference. If this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'll be very unhappy. Wait, so, so wait, what? So, why is he trying to make faulty shells? What day is this? Friday? What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. So he's trying to make this shit like a haven now. I've got some wine. Man, this dude better be careful, man. And they can hear that shit, man. They probably got the snitch. Wait, what? Wow, this man really did all of that for seven months. He just kept this pretty much as a place to stay, but hit it off as a factory. So nobody could really ask any questions. The people who did knew, he just bought them off. That's like one of the most kindest things I've ever heard of. Somebody to do something like that for so many people, to use his resources in a way that not a lot of people would do? Wow. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. So it seemed like he knew this shit was about to happen. In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. <laughs> Man, 
Man, this movie right here has definitely been a movie that people need to watch. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. I will have to say that Schindler is probably one of the top characters that I've seen in movie history when it comes to like his character arc. I could have got more up. I don't know if, if I just... Aska, there are 1,100 people who are alive because of you. Look at them. This car. Oh, good. What about this car? Why did I keep the car? Ten people right there. Wow, this is the best acting I have seen Liam Neeson done in his career. This is gold. Two more people. I could have gone. One more person. And I didn't. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God, that acting right there was amazing. Oh man, that scene was so powerful. Like that 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 was some of the best acting I've seen. Man, I just want to give my condolence out and my prayers to the people whose families had to go through this tragedy. Like wow, man, this this shit should have never happened. Wow, he's about to be hanged. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad he got his karma, though. Oh, wow. So this is a true story. Wow. So th this is just like with Tombstone. I did not know that this was a true story. Wow. Oh, my God. I just want to say right off the bat, like, I, I, I truly apologize that I never heard of this man and I did not know this man's story this is something that should have been taught in school like I I wasn't taught this in school at all and like you gotta understand I'm I'm still young I'm only 25 I was born in the 90s like nobody told me about this man like the, the fact that I know for sure that this is real now it, it inspires me a whole lot more and I'm I'm definitely going to research up on him and more of the events about the Holocaust after this. Like, wow. The fact that a man actually did that to help out that many people. That's so admirable. Like, I, I really, I didn't know that this was a true story. I thought that this was going to be like, uh, I thought this was going to be like Saving Private Ryan. Where it's based in a true event, but it's a, a made up story or uh, something like that. I, I, that's what I thought this was going to be. But now that I know this is in fact a true story. Oh my God. I, I really feel ashamed that I don't know this man. Like I said, I just, I really apologize for my ignorance here. Like I, I'm not that type of person that just randomly look stuff up and researches it. I'm not that type of person. So, for, like, when I watch some of these movies and stuff and y'all like, how do you not know this person or know about this event or whatever? I was never taught this in school. I never had nobody in my social circle that talked about it. And I just was never, like, pushed to want to look it up or never thought about, hey, you know what? I want to look more into this. I was never that type of person. I just stayed in my world. That's about it. Oh my God! I, 
showing the actors with the people who were actually there. This, this has to be one of the best endings I've ever seen. Hey, this is definitely a story that was worth telling. Six million. 